but after the federal city, it was actually named after George Washington and Christopher Columbus. And the first name for Washington, D.C. was City of Washington, Columbus Territory. But that name, they felt it was too long. <laughs> Wonder where they got that idea from. So what they did was they took the word to territory and changed it to district. But it still means the same thing. And then they took the name Columbus and changed it to Columbia. So when you hear Washington District of Columbia, it actually means City of Washington, Columbus Territory. And if you can find an old map of Washington, D.C., you'll actually see that name printed on the lower left-hand corner of the map. Yes. Now, Washington, D.C. also has a nickname. It's called Columbia Island. Never heard of it, right? So I always tell people, when you get back home, you can tell your friends and relatives why you were on vacation. You got a chance to visit Columbia Island. Because of course, they're not gonna know where it's at. But they're gonna ask you, where is Columbia Island? And the best response is to tell them, Columbia Island is right off the Potomac River. Because they're still not gonna know what you're talking about, but they will definitely tickle your funny bone. And just let that linger for a Total over a half a million dollars worth of real gold. Yes, one of Washington, D.C.'s best kept secrets, best public knowledge. <laughs> Over here to your left, you have what looks like Wolverine's claws on the Virginia side, next to the flashing light. That is the United States Air Force Memorial. And it symbolizes the missing man formation, where the four jets go up, one disappears, and then the other three dis uh, disperse. Over here to your right, the two round buildings is the John F. Kennedy Memorial Center for Performing Arts, the only living memorial. And you can actually take a tour of the facility or watch a live performance. Straight down the Potomac River to your right, that is the waterfront of Georgetown, which is beautiful. You can actually go to the waterfront, sit down, have a nice dinner, glass of wine, while you look over the Potomac River into the uh, area right here, which is actually Theodore Roosevelt Island, which is an 88-acre island that no motor vehicles are allowed on. It's mostly trails and hiking area, and they have a few statues and memorials on it. Do you guys see that very large building in the background? Kind of looks like it's hidden in the shadow. That is the National Cathedral. That is the 10th largest church in the world. That is where President Woodrow Wilson is in tune, the only president buried in Washington, D.C. And they have a lovely sculpture of Darth Vader outside one of the steeples. This is very true. And then right here, what looks like a castle to your right, that whole area back there, that is Georgetown University. And see, Georgetown is the oldest part of Washington, D.C. For anyone who loves scary movies, that is actually where they film the ecstasies. That's where they have those iconic stairs. And it was filmed in Georgetown because Georgetown is known for its ghost stories. But the story itself was a real story from Washington, D.C., based from true events. Back doing that on 95, way back home. The Potomac River that we just crossed over, that is actually property of the state of Maryland. And it spans 405 miles long. Right now we're on Memorial Avenue, which is also known as Heroes Avenue. There are 10 statues and memorials along the sides. And here at Arlington Cemetery, they do up to 30 funerals a day. I believe today they have 27 scheduled. And that can cause delays and reroutes on the actual tour, so just keep that in mind. Most people get off at two stops, the Eternal